Okay, fifth graders, seven dash eight. That's where we are. We're adding, adding mixed numbers. And uh, I'm looking at this first question here, and, and uh, I'm not going to uh, answer it or really ask the same kind of question um, that they, they have. I just wanted to show you guys something here. If we were to add up all these fractions, let's just kind of disregard what they, what they all are, what they represent, milk and eggs and baking powder and, and flour and that kind of stuff. If somebody just asks you to add all these fractions here, so what have we got? We got one half. We have one third. It's going to be helpful to you guys um, later on. Uh, plus uh, one and one half, and then uh, plus uh, one and two thirds, one and two thirds, and then plus one. <clears throat> First thing you want to do is look and see if there's some that would be easy, easy to add, easy to put together. Um, well, yeah, I see. There's a half right there. And there's another half. Well, what's a half plus a half? That's one. So I'm going to put down one plus, well, there's a two. Okay. So I'm done with that one. And, uh, and there's another one. So I could put a plus one. What fractions are left? Oh, there's another one right there. Okay. So plus one. And then what fractions are left? We've got one-third and two-thirds. Well, what's one-third plus two-thirds? That's three-thirds. So one-third plus two-thirds, that equals three-thirds, which equals one. So there's another plus one. So we're, we finished the thirds here. Whoops, there it is. So... Um, uh, 1 plus 2 is 3, 4, 5, 6. So it would equal 6. So later on, you guys will have some fractions, multiple fractions to add together. You might as well work with, with some of them that have like denominators. And it would make it really easy and quick to add them together. I just wanted to show you guys that. So we're done with the first page there. Again, the second page, page 298, has uh, an example. And uh, they talk about using, you know, fraction strips. And we've been doing that for a few days and they had you guys turn in some homework. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's just jump into page 299 here. And um, let's see here. How is adding mixed numbers and adding fractions, mixed numbers like adding fractions and whole numbers? Um, how is adding mixed numbers like adding fractions and whole numbers? Well, I'm not quite sure what they're looking for there in that question. So I'm not going to worry about it. Um, yeah, there could be a dozen different correct answers. Look at the example on page 298. Not worried about that. How easy is this? Number three. Okay, and I pointed this out to you guys before. Some of you were confused by these. They're just moving these over. So this is going to be seven eighths. And it uh, looks like the common denominator here is eight. So four goes into eight twice. And two times one is two. Okay. Same thing here, they're just moving these over and um, giving you the, the common denominator, which um, for five and six, the common denominator would be 30. So six goes into 30 five times, five times five is 25. That's what goes there. Five goes into six, I'm sorry, five goes into 30 six times, six times two is what? 12. It's addition, so we're just going to add, since we have the same denominator, we're going to add the numerators. 25 plus 12 is 37, so that's 37 over 30. Not done yet. This is an improper fraction. The denominator is smaller than the numerator, what's on top. Okay. So just do some subtraction here and figure out how many times it goes into it. 30 fits into 37 just one time. There's seven left over and the denominator stays the same. Okay. 
Um, number five here, let's look at that. We have four and one ninth and one and one third. And it looks like we're adding. So what's the common denominator? We need a number that both nine and three will go into evenly. Should be pretty obvious that it's nine. If the denominator is the same, you just move everything over. So three goes into nine three times, and three times one is three. Then you just add the numerators, three and one, that's four four ninths. Are we done yet? Not quite. Don't forget the whole numbers that we have to add. We have to add four and we have to add one, which is five. So five and four ninths is the answer to number five. Five and four ninths. I'll let you guys do number six on your own. Let's move down here. I did some of these in class with you guys already uh, today. Uh, not the same ones in the same class. So let's do, uh, let's look at number nine here, okay? So again, um, looks like the common denominator between 16 and eight would be 16. So the 16 would go right there. And you can see this stays the same because 16 goes into 16 once and one times three is three. Eight goes into 16 twice and two times five is 10. Still have to solve it. Again, yeah, actually all these are addition. So um, what's 10 plus three? That's 13, that's 13 over 16. So in this case, it's not an improper fraction. So now we just add the whole numbers. Nine and seven is 16. So 16 and three sixteenths, okay? Uh, number 13. Some of you were kind of confused when you were looking at 13. So I'm going to rewrite it here, make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. So it's 5 and we're adding to that 3 and 1 eighth. Is there a fraction right here next to the 5? No, it's nothing. It's 0. There's nothing there. So what's 3 plus 5? 8. What's 1 eighth plus nothing or 1 eighth plus 0? It's one eighth. So the answer to number 13 is eight and one eighth. Um, let's see here. Number 18, I think I started that in class for both classes, if I recall. So I'm gonna let you guys figure that one out. Um, how about number 16? Let's look at that together. We have uh, 3 and 8 ninths, and we're adding 8 and 1 half. Okay? What's the common denominator? Well, it's obviously not 9, because 2 doesn't go into 9 evenly. We need a number that both 9 and 2 will go into evenly. So I'll start with the largest denominator, which is 9, and I'll double it which will make it 18. Does two go into 18 evenly? It sure does. That will work. So nine goes into 18 twice. Two times eight is 16. Two goes into 18 nine times. Nine times one is nine. Now we have to add nine and 16. That's gonna be 25 over 18. Are we done yet? Nope. That can be reduced. Um, be well, it's actually, an improper fraction. And I know that because the denominator, which is what's on top, is larger than the numerator. I'm sorry. <laughs> Back up, reverse. The denominator, which is what's on bottom, is smaller <laughs> than the numerator, which is what's on top. So 18 goes into 25 once what's left over. In fact, I remember helping somebody with this one. So there's seven left over, seven eighteenths. Okay, now that's just the fraction part. That's just this part. That's all we've dealt with. We still have to add up the whole numbers. What's three plus eight? Well, that's 11 plus one more, don't forget, plus one more. So that's 12. So the final answer for number 16 would be 12 and seven eighteenths. 12 and seven eighteenths.
So 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 1 more is 12. All right. Uh, turn the page here. Let's take a look at these. Use the map to find the answer. It's a what's the distance from the start to the end of the trail? Okay. Well, here's the start, here's the end. They gave us two distances, so you're going to have to add 3 and 7 eighths and 2 and 5 sixths. So 3 and 7 eighths, and we're adding 2 and 5 five sixths. What's the common denominator we could use? Well, eight won't work because six doesn't go into eight evenly. So again, you start with the largest denominator and double it. So eight and eight is 16. Six still doesn't go into, into 16. So I'll add another eight. What's 16 plus eight? That's 24 now. Does 6 go into 24 evenly? It sure does. So 8 goes into 24 3 times. 3 times 7 is 21. 6 goes into 24 4 times. 4 times 5 is 20. Add them up. 21 plus 20 is 41 over 24. Okay. Um, 24 goes into 41 once. What's left over? Well, 24 plus 6 is 30. That's 10. And 11 more, that's 21. So 21 over 24. Don't forget the whole numbers we have to add in. Um, so there's a 1, there's a 2, and a 3. So it's 6. And what? 21 over 24, if I did my math right. Then it says, Louise walked from the start of the trail to the bird lookout and back. Did she walk a longer or shorter distance? So let's, let's back up here. From the start of the trail to the bird lookout and back. So she went, this is what I think they're trying to tell us here. She went 3.78 miles. Okay. She went 3.78 miles and then back again. So that's going to be 3, I said 0 0.78, didn't I? 3 and 7 eighths, adding 3 and 7 eighths. That's going to tell us how far she walked. Well, that's easy. The denominators are the same. So 7 and 7 is 14. 8. 8 goes into 14 once. What's well, left over? 6 eighths. That six eighths can be reduced. Two goes into both of those. Two goes into six three times, and two goes into eight four times. So she walked from the start of the trail to the bird lookout and back. Okay, so um, I'm just going to put, uh, let's see here. So, I'll just put the first answer, which was, um, let's see, one and three quarters plus six, so seven and three quarters, seven and three quarters, okay? And um, I wonder if I did A correctly. I wonder if I made a mistake in there. I may have. We'll see. So, that's how far she traveled if she went from the start to the bird lookout and then back again. Seven and three quarter miles. And then we had six and 21 over 24 um, if she'd walked from the start to the end, which is these two added together. So six and 21 over 24. So, um, so did she walk a longer or shorter distance than if she had just walked from the start to the end of the trail? So this is the start to the end of the trail, and this is walking to the bird lookout and back. So she walked a longer distance. And it says explain. 
And of course, they give you no room to explain it uh, because it is further Um, because it's further. There you go. I'm happy with that. <laughs> they give you no room. And I'm not even going to worry about C because we're running out of time here. I've got to keep these videos short. How nice is that? Um, you can do 21. You can do 22. Let's look at 20 here really quick. 20. It says, whoops. I hope that's still recording. I messed up. Yeah, it is. Um, twice a day, Cameron cats eats. Let's see what food can six day. Okay, uh, not going to worry about twenty. But like I said, you can do twenty one and twenty two, twenty three and twenty four. Arnie skated one and three quarter miles from home to the lake. He skated one and one third miles around the lake and then skated back home. Write an addition sentence to show how many miles Arnie skated. That's going to be one and three quarters from the home to the lake. Plus, he skated one and one third miles around the lake and then back home again, which is another one and three quarters equals. How many miles did Arnie skate in all? Well, um, let's see here. You're going to have to set this up. We've got three we're going to deal with here. One and three quarters. One and three quarters. One and th one third. One and three quarters. How would you add up three fractions? Well, you add them up the same way you do two. What's the common denominator? We need a number that four and three and four will all go into evenly. Well, it's 12. 4 goes into 12 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 goes into 12 4 times. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 goes into 12 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. Now you just add up the numerators. 9 and 9 is 18 plus 4 more is 22 over 12. Okay, that's an improper fraction. The numerator is larger than the denominator. 12 goes into 22 once. What's left over? 10 left over. Numerator stays the same. 10 twelfths can be reduced. These are long for you guys. Um, so 2 goes into 10 five times, and 2 goes into 12 six times. So, um, just dealing with the fraction part of this problem, we get an answer of 1 and 5 sixths. Don't forget 1 plus 1 plus 1, because these right here. So, 3 plus 1 and 5 sixths. 1 and 5 sixths equals, the final answer would be 4 and 5 sixth. Okay. So that's all your homework. This is over 15 minutes long. Um, some problems I said you don't have to do, so hopefully everybody watched this video. Um, and that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow.